Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kendra and in today's video I thought I would start a new series um, on my channel. I thought I'd show you how I organize my inventory. Um, so here on my screen is my inventory and um, I will break it up into a couple different videos because it's quite involved my organization process for it so as you can see um i have all the normal um preset folders that um second life gives us in our inventories and then i break those down into um like subcategories, which makes it easier for me to organize um, my inventory. As we start, I have my um, RLV folder. I use this mo mostly for my um, CST wardrobe. Um, when I first started using it, I started using the RLV part of the wardrobe, which if you're not aware, you can actually put on items straight from your wardrobe. You don't have to like go find it in, in your inventory. And it uses the RLV technology to put the items on your avatar. The problem with that is it's very time consuming adding things into this folder because you have to make a specific folder and it has to be named exactly the same thing as it is in your um, wardrobe inventory. So I kind of stopped using that and I think um, in another video I will kind of give you a tu tutorial on how I use the CTS wardrobe now as opposed to how um, I think it was intended to be used. This Firestorm folder, I have no idea what this is. And next is my animations folder which is a huge mess. Um, I have it. I really haven't organized this too much. I do have a dances folder, but as you can see down here, there are a bunch of different dances that are not in that dance folder. So, but maybe one day I will go and organize that. But to be honest, I don't really go into that folder too much. Um, the dances I put straight into my dance HUD and the gestures that I need for my posting and other gestures that I just tend to use I have them in my gestures like I have them activated in my gestures and I just use that it that way so I really don't need to organize this folder too much all right the next is my body parts folder and this is a big folder for me um, anything that um, is related to the, my body I put into this folder. I do have my accessories folder in here and I originally had it in my clothing folder but the problem was is oftentimes when I'm changing clothes I'll just go and I'll click on the clothing folder and I'll right click on it and I'll remove from current outfit and that'll just remove everything from that folder so that way it's just easier I don't have to remove my pants and my shoes and my top to change my outfit I just remove everything at one time well when I had my jewelry or my accessories folder in there there are some access some jewelry that I wear all the time I would always that those would always come off of me too so I moved my accessories folder up to my body parts folder so that that didn't happen when I removed my clothes and this way I have it separate and in an easy location to find it so in my accessories folder, I have more subcategories and then these subcategories have subcategories and it's my way of organizing. Maybe I'm a little over the top with my organization, but it helps me find things. So I have uh, a bags folder and then in the bags folder, I have any bags that um, purses or stuff like that, that I, um, will wear and then I have a belts folder I don't have too many belts at the moment because a lot of the time belts come with outfits already it's not something you have to add and then I have a few gloves some mittens and stuff 
and um, I have only one harness, but I'm probably I'll eventually probably get others. And then there's the head accessories, which is broken down into some more subcategories. I have barrettes, and this is a wedding veil. If I don't have a specific folder, like if it's the only thing that'll be in that folder, I just leave it in the larger folder. And eventually, if I need to create a new subcategory, then I will. So I have crowns and... This is just like a hair chain, but then I have a couple of flower crowns, so I have another subcategory for that. And then face decorations, I have that, like, um, face jewels and stuff like that. They That's what I put in my face decorations. And then I have glasses with, and um, some that are clear clear lenses and others that are sunglasses. But then some of the glasses I have, uh, they have in the HUD, you can wear them as both sunglasses or clear lens glasses. So I have a both folder too. And then we have here, we have hats. Um, these are hats that I would wear separate from hair. So a lot of the times my hair has the hats already attached and I like that because the um, hair is fitted right and you don't have to try to fit the hat because it's hot. sometimes there's a lot of clipping with your hair when you wear them all right I have a bunch of headbands um, like kitty ears or this one's a sunflower headband things like that so and then headdresses is more like the more for my photography and then I have a horns folder and just a few horns in there if that's what I'm looking for so that's my head head accessories folder and then jewelry is also broken down into into subcategories as well we have bracelets and more crowns and tiaras so I guess I have crowns and tiaras um, in a couple different places so I probably will go back and um, combine those two folders so that I don't have things in two different places. All uh, right, here's my earrings. I have quite a few items in that folder. And then head jewelry, um, like eyebrow piercings. And this is uh, a bindi. And then leg jewelry. I get. I have some garters and some anklets. A big folder for necklaces and then a few nose rings and then rings for your finger and then I have sets here um, a lot of a lot of times my jewelry will come in sets with like earrings necklaces so I'll I have a folder specifically for sets and then torso jewelry I have uh, some belly chain a belly chain um, I have my hip piercings and a belly button piercing. So those go on my torso jewelry. Next in the accessories folder is are my scarves. Most of them are winter scarves. Some of them are like um, decorative, I guess you could call them. I don't know. And then I have skins and sparkles. So like this is like a holographic body shine or... If you want sparkles on your body and they cover your whole body. So, and then this is a body outline. So I just have those separate. A few socks and I only have one tail. I feel like I have tails other places, but that might be in my costumes folder in my clothing. And then I have a bunch of wings. When I first started Second Life, um, the original my original avatar I had my wings folder was huge and that was the thing I wore all the time I wore my wings everywhere I went all day um I always had a pair of wings so I my wings folder was quite extensive now on Kendra I I have quite a few but not a huge amount because I don't wear the wings all the time like I used to 
So that's my accessories. And then my bodies folder are the two different bodies that I own, um, the Matreya body and the Slink. Before I w started wearing Matreya, I had the Slink body, and that was my main um, mesh body. Now I've moved over to Matreya, and I don't see myself switching to another body unless the technology changes, because the Matreya body, first of all, most designers design for the Matreya body. Almost all designers design their outfits for the Matreya body. And also, it it's the body type that I prefer wearing. I know like things like Cupra or and like Hourglass have a specific look for them, and that isn't the look that I would I wanted for Kendra. So then I have a few ears, and then for my eyes separate my subfolders by um, the type of head that I have because later on I'll show you well I'll, let me go do my heads I have a couple different heads I have two Katwa heads the HD Pro and the Katya so and then for genus I had the genus um, strong face which was the free head the genus gave out and then I also have the head that I'm currently wearing the Leluca lily head so that's my heads and then when um, for my makeup and my eyes and all I have it separated at, up into subcategories like these are all my bakes on mesh um, eyes. And then these are the um, HUDs for the Katwa. I started off Kendra with uh, the Katwa Katya. So usually my, my Katwa folders have the most in them because I was wearing, I was wearing that head for the longest time. Then I switched over to the Lil Luluka Lily head because I, I like the HUD better. And then I have a few things for the genus head, or a few eyes for the genus head. And then this is my Luluka folder. And then these are the, um, the mesh eyes. So if you wanted to wear the strictly mesh eyes, they're the hardest because you have to get them sized right and you have to get them positioned right to look good and then there's an, the Omega appliers I have not gotten um, the Omega appliers for the head I think I have it for my body but I really don't ever use Omega but I kept them just in case I decide to switch over to that one day and then my hair folder this is a huge folder um, what I do is I have separated the hair down to different um, types of hair. So I have braids down here. So in the braids folder, I have one braid or two. And then within there, I have all of the items that are that type of hair. And when I originally set up my inventory, I set it up by designer, but then I would go into a designer and then I'd have to go into that subfolder. So this way it's easier if I feel like wearing braids. Like today when I was getting dressed, I was like, I feel like wearing a braid. So I went into my braid folder. And then right here I have all of the hair that is a braid. So I have that to choose from. And then I have a couple, two, two braids, um, like French braids and stuff. And then my down hair folder, I have it separated into long, medium, and short. All right, and I this is probably my biggest folder. I have a lot of long down hair. And then I have a few medium hairs and some short hairs. Um, hair is one of my favorite accessories in Second Life. I love, like, in real life, you can't change your hair completely. Like, change the color and the style and the length all in, like, one snap of a finger. So I love that about Second Life. So hair is a big exciting thing for me and then I have some add-ons uh Escalated has a universal color HUD that works with all of their hairs so I have that here and then some bangs that you can add on to to hair if you wanted to 
So there are like a couple add-ons that could be worked, can be used for any of the hairs. And then this is my hair bases. And then I have some half up hairs where it's like just half, the top half is up and the rest is down. And then we have some head coverings. I have bandanas. And then my hats. I have that se separated into beanies, caps, like baseball caps, um, like floppy, big floppy sun hats, and then some others covering. And then updos, I have that separated into buns, and buns is separated into like two buns or just one. Then I have like formal hairs. So like if I'm do going to a formal occasion, they're like more fancy updos. And then other because they didn't fit into the other <laughs> categories and then I have like piled up on the top of my head and then my ponytails and I have ponytails separated into high ponytails low low ponytails and then pigtails and that's it for hair and then I showed you my head here's my makeup folder I have this separated into the different types of makeup and then again they are like so the blush and freckles is blush freckles and then some of my um, sets came with both so I have that set up and <clears throat> again I have it set up so that it can I can easily find it for whatever head I'm wearing. Um, so I don't have any um, specific blushes for my Laluca yet. So I just have some bakes on mesh and some Kappa head um, blushes. And then I have some Kappa and Genus freckles. And then my brows, again, separated by the type of head, Kappa head, Genus head, and Laluca. I purchased uh, a powder, one of the cat, the powder packs back when I was wearing my Catwa head and um, I had a couple of those. So I just kept those boxes just in case for something, for some reason I needed to re-deliver something or whatever. And then I have some eyeliners, only have that for Catwa. And then eyeshadows, I have some Bakes on Mesh, Catwa, Genus, Luca, and Omega separated that way. Highlighters, only have those in Big Sun Mesh. I have some lashes separated by head. And then some lip lipsticks, again, separated by head and applier. And then I had a few that were sets that like were a combination of maybe lipstick and eyeshadow together or whatever. And I have them separate too. All right, and that's my makeup folder. And then I have my nails. I have that separated as appliers and um, mesh nails. So um, the appliers I have separated, I put them in um, folders by designer. Um, one year I did advent calendars and Abeltini was one of the stores that participated in that. And they give you a different set of nails every single day for the month of December. So I have quite a few of their nails. And so I just have them in one folder. And then Kazimi every month they had a different free gift. So I have them all in here too. Cosmetic is a store that I blogged for for a little bit. And then there's some Luna. And so I just have them separated by the designer. It's the easiest way to separate them. All right, next we have some shapes. I do not have very many shapes because I like to make my own shape. I don't really go and buy shapes. Um... I may use, like, for example, for my Laluca lily head, I just used, I started off with the shape that it comes with the head, and then I went and tweaked it and designed my shape to go with my skin and my body, myself, and then I just name it. And if it's in my um, favorite wearable folder, 
So I just named it Kendra's Luca Evo shape. And then what I do is I put the date on it because um, it's hard to see. But I put the date on it so that I know when the last time I edited that shape was. So that I know where I'm wearing the most current shape. And then I have a whole folder of skins. I have a pliers for the different bodies and heads. And then I also have my bakes on mesh ones. And then I have my tattoos. And that's, um, I have that separated by the location of the tattoo. I have arms, back, belly, chest, face, full body. So they're a tattoo that might cover the entire body. Um, hips, legs, and then I have a few that I actually have to try on, but because they're a pliers, I haven't taken the time to, to look at them to find out the location. I have a lot of these to be foldered folders so that I know that they're kind of, I haven't taken the time to, to folder them yet. And that keeps me organized. I like when I look at my inventory to see a nice clean inventory and not just a whole bunch of like crazy wacky folders all over the place. And then um, I have a top half one and that's like, it might be the front, my chest and my back and my arms or like my hands. It's part, it's all on the top half of my body. All right. So that's my tattoos. And, um, this is where I'm going to stop with how I organize my inventory for today because that was good for now. And then in the next, um, next time we will go into my clothing folder, which is huge, but you'll see how I organize my clothing in the next, um, installment in this series. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any suggestions for me as to how you organize your inventory, which you think might work nicely for me, I'd love to hear your suggestions. So just leave them in the comments below. If you, how I organized my inventory is helpful to you, just leave the like and, um, and I appreciate your watching. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button so that you can be up to date on all of my adventures here in Second Life. Take care, all. Bye.